Hi guys, I'm Zerfall, and welcome to a brand new Let's Play adventure. Metal Walker for the Game Boy Color, or Game Boy, it worked in both. Um, it's a quirky little Japanese game that takes place on an island that used to be an island full of life and, and robots. Then catastrophe, ha catastrophe happened, and now it's like a Pokemon mixed with Bakugan sort of game. Let's uh, start a new game here. We gotta pick a name, so I guess we'll be Zerfall. Just enough characters. In 21 century, the core, a metal which can evolve, was found on an island. Military research on the core began shortly after. However, a terrible disaster destroyed every facility and left the island a ruined, decimated wasteland. Dot, dot, dot. All that remained on the island were piles of ruins and rubble, so people named the place Rusted Land. Now, 50 years have passed. Tetsuo. Zerfall, run! The Metal Busters are coming! They are evil robots! Who hurt humans? Run! While I distract them by explaining what they are! Zerfall, come on! Zerfall, you're not alone! You have a metal ball! You should fight with! Wah! Hey, you're awake! My husband found you lying on the ground, near here. And we took care of you. I'm so glad you regained consciousness. So, your name is Zerfall, but what makes you come to Rusted Land alone? I thought only core hunters came to this island. You're lucky that you have fully recovered. Please, meet my husband. He's in the next room. Well, before we meet him, we're going to meet our little buddy here. This is our metal ball. Picky! <laughs> That's your friend, isn't it? You should take him with you. You have reunited with metal ball. There we go, now we have our metal ball. Can we go to the pause menu yet? Nope. So off we go. Hey kid, you look fine. I'm glad. Anyways, I'll give you something that seems to have belonged to you. Can you see the two devices there? I think one of them is yours. So, you can take it with you. So, this is where it gets like Pokemon. I have something I should give you. Feel free to take it. Um, there's red and a green one. And it's just like Pokemon Red and Pokemon Blue, I guess. Where, depending on which one you pick, there's different enemies you can run into. And if you have a friend, you can trade scan data to get all of the scan data in the game. So, since we are not playing this with a friend, there's no chance of us um, getting all the scan data. We can also try to steal stuff. 
Will you try to shake the bookshelf? Oh, of course. <laughs> hey! Don't touch my property! Without my permission, kid. So... What's up here? Do you want me to explain the flip battle? Sure! The flip battle is a battle where you flip your metal walker to destroy your enemies. Now watch! So this is the combat system. Um, this is on autopilot right now. But pretty much what happens is graphical glitches. Um, you kind of pick which way you want to go, and you shoot at them. And when you bash into them, they take damage. When they bash into you, you take damage. And that's the basic rule of flip battle. Next, I'll explain how to scan. You can scan enemies when they get hit with an analyzer. Now watch. So that's an analyzer. When you bash your enemies into them, like this apparently not a Pikachu ball, um, it scans them and you can gain their ability. See? That's the scan. If you bring the scan data to Junk Shop, you'll be able to create capsules. What's a capsule? Let me explain. So, that's an HP one, if you... Okay, so he didn't hit us. But if you hit into a capsule, what happens is, it heals you. Now you know how to use capsules. Capsules have various kinds of effects, so try to find them out for yourself. Thank you for listening! I'll give you this as a token of you're listening to my explanations! We got the scan data of Buster Minion. If you bring that scan data to the junk shop, which is on the second floor of the camp in the north direction, you'll be able to buy squirrel capsules. You can't go to the menu screen unless you take the device that's on the table on the first floor. So, there's also all these books. So, let's read them all and learn about stuff. If you bring scan data to a junk shop, they'll conduct research on the data and create a new capsule. Amazing. Scan. So we could have just read these the whole time. To scan enemies and obtain data on Metal Busters, hit Metal Busters with an analyzer that is thrown into the battlefield. Then you'll obtain the scan data for the enemy. You can buy analyzers by mail order from Crozer Corporation. Capsules will be thrown into the battlefield automatically. There are various effects of the capsules, such as recovering vitality or attacking an opponent. When someone is hit with the capsule, the capsule will be used. That's important because if you throw down a capsule, it kind of places randomly. And not if you throw down a capsule, because if you have capsules in your inventory and they're turned on for battle, you automatically throw them in. Um, so if your enemy hits them instead of you, then the enemy actually gets the benefit. So if you throw down an HP1, the enemy's low, and they bash into it instead, they get their health healed. Or if you bounce them into it. Which is also important because there are some attack ones that instead of hitting them yourself to cast the spell, you need to knock the enemy into them. That being said, your enemies are the exact same way, so in the future when we're in battle we'll actually be able to use the enemy's own abilities against them right away. And sometimes that works out. And I mean, you'll see how the AI works, because sometimes certain AI re react to capsules different ways. So sometimes you can throw down a bad capsule, but the enemy's AI is to always try to get the capsule, and they'll hurt themselves. Will you read the book on the Metal Ball? Metal Ball is a fundamental model among the Metal Walkers. By equipping the core unit, Metal Ball will evolve to equip core units. Press Start and go to the menu screen. Choose Metal Walker, then choose Core Units to equip and press the A button. For reading these kind of backwards. Flip Battle is a battle where you flip your Metal Walkers and make them hit each other. By hitting each other, the one who runs out of vitality loses. In the battle, you will find that each type has advantages and disadvantages. 
Land type has an advantage over marine type. Marine type has an advantage over sky type. Sky type has an advantage over land type. If you keep this in mind, you'll have an advantage during battle. Read the book in core units? Sure. The core unit is a metal that evolves. There are three types of core units, land, marine, and sky. By combining the core units, the metal walker will become able to evolve in various ways. Professor Hawk is the authority on, of research on core units. Can we read the book on core hunters? Core hunters are the people who look for the core units. Rusted land is a treasure island to core hunters. Well, that's all strained out. I'm going to grab the green one because it doesn't have too much effect. I mean, we'll still be able to get most of the data, just not all of them. Zerfall, how have you been? Wow, who is this person? Ahem. My name is Professor Hawk. I'm the authority on research for the core units. Huh? What kind of relationship is there between such a noble professor and this kid? Tetsuo Kurama, this kid's father, is my assistant. Zerfall and his father came to this island to look for the core units. But just after they landed, Metal Busters attacked them. And they got separated. Zerfall, find Tetsuo Kuruma, your father. He'll, he'll show up where the core units are. If you look for core units, you'll surely meet your father. Again. Good luck, Zerfall. Buzz. The transmission has been cut off. You got the communications device to Professor Hawk. Good luck, kid! So, that's that. We can actually go to the pause screen now. Here's a map of the world. Um, and in our diary, we can save the game at any point in time. Not any point in time. Any point we're outside. In buildings, you can't. Buildings count as dungeons. In dungeons, you also can't. Um, it also keeps track of our win ratio and our camp score and all, how many cores we've collected. We don't have any items yet. And the scan data, this is like, Pokemon, you gotta catch them all, except you're just scanning them. All we've found so far is B-Minion, um, who's kind of like a Pika Ball. And this is our Metal Walker. He looks like a tough guy in this thing. And we can't evolve him anyways yet, but when you evolve him, it's completely reversible, so you can kind of pick whatever robot you want. Get out of my way! Hi, how do you do? The name is Emil Krauser, the daughter of the president of Krauser Corporations. I have just arrived at this island today, and I am a novice core hunter. Nice to meet you. This is the first house I have found on this island, but I never expected to see a boy in it. I'll present you with an analyzer, made by Krauser Corporations. You got an analyzer. The story in this game is the least strong part of the game. Huh? Huh? You don't know what it is? How disappointing. I hate core hunters. They're unintelligent barbarians. This is a machine to scan metal busters. Goodbye! <laughs> That's what most of the encounters with her are like. Very one-sided, and she... Um, just kind of wanders off afterwards. Oh, I guess she's staying in here. I never came back in here to check before. I'm Emil Krauser, daughter of the president of the Krauser Corporations. I am going to stay here tonight. You can thank me. Did she actually just say you can thank me? Okay. You are looking for your father. I hope you find him soon. Thanks, I forgot what I was doing. So, let's head out into the wild world and we'll get in our first battle. And then, I guess we'll probably call that a video. Uh, let's save the game first, just in case anything bad happens in our first fight. But we should be able to handle it. Here it comes. There's our analyzer. And we're gonna go up on an angle here, hopefully knock this guy into the analyzer. Um, we are not strong enough. So he used a Napalm 1, which is not very good for us, if he actually gets that off. 
And I'm going to try a sneaky move here. I'm going to hide behind my analyzer and hope he crashes into it. Oh, he didn't. We might be able to bump into that. Part of how this works is your speed and... Oh, we knocked him into the napalm. So napalms... You saw how it looked like a skull. Napalm's bad if you run into it. If things look like skulls, you normally don't want to run into them. If the thing looks like a radar dish, it's always an analyzer. Um, the other two things are, I believe, a regular circle, which can kind of go any way. That's a question. There's one with a question mark over it. And that's the one that can kind of go any way because it's kind of weird. Some of them are good, some of them are bad. Um, the other one is the regular circle, glowy circle, which is something that's beneficial if you hit it. I believe there's an attack one too, but I don't remember what it looks like right now. Anyways, we got 10 scrap. And we got a napalm from him. If we look at our items now that we have some, we have an analyzer and a napalm. We can turn battle off so that it's not used in battle, and that way we can save it up for later when we need it for a boss fight. If we head up here, it's the first camp. The one who travels in rusted land should visit this building. Probably some good advice. This is the spot. The spot you see beside me is a shortcut to the battle arena. But you can't enter now. You have to be linked to another game to enter. You are in the Greenport camp. If you move north, you can find the area called Chemical Plant. Rumor has it. That there is a core unit in the area. But remember, be careful when you use a capsule called Napalm. If you get hit with it, you'll be seriously damaged. This is like the focus center. Um, you can find the HP recovery device beside me. Use it anytime for free. By the way, HP capsules is a must when you travel in Rusted Land. You can buy some if you bring the scan data of Buster Minion to the junk shop on the second floor. So this will heal our guy. I don't think there's anything in the bookshelf. I don't think there's anything in any of the bookshelves. Do you know how to use your capsules during battle? Let's say no even though we do. Press start to go to the menu screen and select item. In the capsule selection screen, move the cursor to the capsule you want to use during battles, and press the A button. I guarantee you will have an advantage during battle. That's actually a poor explanation of how that menu works. You have new scan data? Let me see! And... My screen's everyone on, that's great. Go. Hey, I got your first scan data! So now we can buy analyzers and capsule ones. We're gonna stock up on... Both. Uh, by capsule ones, I obviously mean HP one. H the uh, HP ones you can actually use outside of battle, which is important. Um, and what they don't tell you is, if you want to, you can see here, we can press start on this and bring it up here, switch it with the napalm. That way we can make it so that every other thing is an HP one. That kind of makes it easier when you're in combat, it spreads it out. Anyways, let's let's call it a first video there. I'm Zerfall, we've made it to the Greenport camp, and next time on Let's Play Metal Walker, we're going to head to the chemical plant and hopefully not die before we find the treasure that's supposed to be there. Thanks for watching.